What is up guys, Spencer TV back here with another video. Hope you're having a great day. And what we are doing today, guys, actually, is we are on, as you can tell, you cannot recognize this map. Oh my goodness, what is this mode we're doing over here? What the heck? But anyway, what we're doing on this map today, obviously, as you can tell, is we are going to be doing some mowing. And we have a sick setup. This is a huge shout out to Square2248. Uh, he, um, this is his mowing map. And it's meant for a lot more, but he just called it mowing map beta. And uh, he was kind enough to share the link. And, uh, and I'll, I'll be doing a mowing series kind of on it and messing around doing stuff. We do have, again, we're pretty much having the same equipment that we had. Uh, I guess, did I change anything? We will also have the John Deere in here. You guys saw that. We'll have the bu the bush hog on it. All three of our um, X Mark mowers. One with a bagger, one rider, and then one rider with a bagger and in uh, a stand on, and then our walker. So let's come to the run through down on the mowers, and then 25 foot enclosed trailer. That's neat. And then this 40 foot flatbed. And for some crazy reason, guys, crazy reason, it's red. Like every other map, it's been black. But for some reason, when I bought it here, it was red. Uh, this will be our home. This is where I will live. Super nice house. It, it actually is a really nice gate. Um, and then this shed. This will be where we ha uh, store everything. And as you can tell, super nice. Super nice inside. Kind of blue theme. Matches Spencer TV. We got uh, some shelving. More equipment. Toolbox. More shelving. Shelving. Uh, and toolbox over here. And uh, one of those wheelie uh, lay down things. So that's going to be our setup. Pretty sick. A lot better than Goldcrest Valley. And again, guys, all of this is mowed. So first, before we do anything, we need to fire up the mowers and we need to start mowing our own place so we look professional. And I only do it the right way. I We always bag it around here. You know, guys, I'm trying to, trying to make it look really good and really professional because obviously we want to make our lawn looking fresh because people know. People know we we we're, we're long, we have a, a mowing company, and I still I still haven't figured out the name. I really want to figure out the name. Um, I I looked it through all the comments, guys, and I, a lot of very very creative and fun names. I was very uh, that a lot. Of, they, it was very fun to read through it. You could say it was fun to see what you guys came up with. All that jazz. For some reason, some of the grass back there wouldn't allow me to cut it because I think it's so close to the um. To the gate for some reason i mean it, it kind of would make sense but uh let's get some first person view here boys but yeah we're gonna bag all this and we do have we have two accounts today it's not gonna be too busy today uh kind of breaking in our new setup breaking in our new town that we're gonna be working here not really sure what the the town is called but uh it this is gonna be so much better than Goldcrest valley guys i will try and give a little tour here uh, drive around a little extra and show you guys really like what's up um, I really want to get after this video get like Numano on here the squad and really uh, bang out some lawns here and get rolling with some crew like honestly that's the way to go get like me just another person is so bit so key in mowing just another person to mow with uh, I don't know I, I think that would be really fun to get some guys out here maybe some subscribers and uh and do this I think it's really cool but one thing always farm simulator isn't gonna be the most realistic um, the tracks that the the mower leaves is is kind of uh, kind of unrealistic I mean it looks it, it honestly like looks muddy you can't we we can't do anything about that unfortunately but uh, it's not too big of a deal please bear with me guys on that I also do wish uh, wish it kind of left a better stripe but again, like I said, you, you really can't do anything about that. So we are going to uh, knock out our lawn here, guys. We're going we're gonna to try and fly through this as quickly as possible. Um, and then, yeah, so we have two accounts. One's a business, and then one's a residential. We're, again, uh, this is, we are a brand new company, so we're going to try and do our best on these first couple accounts to get our name out there and show really what we're all about. And we're about cutting grass, boys. So I'll, I'll see you guys when we're wrapped up with this lawn and we will get packing uh, up all our equipment and moving out to our calendar.
Okay, guys, so we are just wrapping up, finishing our lawn. It took a little bit longer than I thought, but honestly, it's turned out pretty good. Not too bad at all. Um, looks really fresh. looks really professional. So that when we get rolling out here, you know, you get that good feeling. Uh, I, I really wanted to, like, warm up and, uh, and, and like, I don't know how you say it. Like, you know, you, you kind of want to, like, you know, a professional football player always warms up, stretches. Well, we're professional mowers. We're going to warm up, get a quick mow in, you know what I mean? Uh, no, not really. That's not what they do. But uh, there we go. We turn the blade off, and we will go. Parker, um, I think we are going to take the 25-foot today. I think that's all we're going to need just because I'm alone by myself. And uh, and I really like the 25-foot when we aren't taking too much equipment at once. So, yeah, let's, uh, let's back up and hook up to our 25-foot. Oh, how close. There we go. We are attached. Let's pull out just a bit. We got to watch that that door it is close quarters not gonna lie it's pretty close quarters um so there we go let's get the back open like so there we are um and then what are we taking so i know i know we have a commercial one and i and it, it's it's not it's not too big but i really wanted to get the john deere running uh today or er, oops there we go let's get that bush hog oh my goodness that was terrible okay i accidentally pressed back to the forward because i had my view distorted so there we go Oh my goodness. Oh my gosh. Okay, let's load up the John Deere. There we go. Now the light does stick through the top. I'm a little not too happy about that, but it's not too big a deal. And then I believe we're going to take our stand on for getting around that. The, the smaller stuff, the tighter stuff. We're going to take our stand on X Mark Mower. There we go. It does go a bit slower, but it's really good for like getting around the houses, tight spots. And uh, if there's ever like fences, this is when the stand on and something smaller really really comes in handy and i'm just gonna be a one-man wrecking cr wrecking crew today guys so we just mowed up let me park our uh our our mower that we were just using let's put her back over here there we go and now if we have any if we have any problems we can always come in here fix up the mower stuff like that and we are gonna get rolling out breaking i'll sh I'll, I'll kind of uh tug you guys through the map a little bit square did a very good job it's a very very nice map uh, there is no traffic. Like honestly, let's. I I've only been on the map for like so long, but that that turn is so tight with trailer. Not gonna lie, but uh, he did it very well. I like the I like the black top, but uh, yeah, that's a super nice house right there as well. But that's not the house that we're gonna be doing. And yeah, just this cul-de-sac. Like you don't see a cul-de-sac in Goldcrest in a gate like that. It's very nice, very very cool looking. So yeah, huge shout out to him. And, yeah, so we're going to head down. There's also, like, a football stadium, a soccer stadium. There's, I believe, is that a school or a church? Not sure. Bunch of houses. And, again, everything is mowable. So it's very it's very nice. Um, and it works out super good. Like, there's the diner. We'll just keep driving around. There's football stadium. Like I mentioned, Dollar General. Like, what the heck? There's Dollar General. But, uh, yeah, it did very well. I think there's a tractor supply and I, oh there's the yeah so that's where you start off there's uh morgan's uh motors over there that's where whenever you buy anything or that's uh where you start there's track supply yeah so it, it's very well done and i think that yeah here's a ford dealership so very nice very very nicely done and perfect yeah baseball field very perfect for mowing it and all our uh all our series that we're gonna do on here i i think there's a lot of potential. It's very cool. I don't want to take any of his videos at all um, or do anything with that. But he, uh, you guys said it would be fine. I was like, okay. I was a little skeptical, but uh, but we're doing it, guys. We are doing it. So here we are. I think the house. Yep, there's the house to our right there. Not this green one, but the one over. That's gonna be our house for today. Um, not too bad. That. Oh my goodness. I need to drive better. There we go. We are going to back up in their driveway. There we are. And then we will quickly straighten it back out so we get some more room to turn. There we go. There we are. Let's straighten out one more time. Th this Raptor is pretty quick. I absolutely love using these for work trucks just because, like, all the logos on the side, it looks very good. Like, safety, it's no no accident like snow business we do use it for snow but uh but it's not winter boys and we are gonna do some mowing so i'm gonna take the stand on and get around trees 
um, get around the house, everything like that. So let, let's get doing that around. Oh my goodness, there is, um, there's no, is that the door? Is it, what is that? That must be the door. But a little things like that, we, um, now I should get a weed eater mod. That's, that's honestly our upgrade should be what I should obviously have it. But uh, we do need a weed eater mod. Not going to lie. Um, I've never seen, honestly, if you guys could send, if anybody knows of a weed eater mod uh, around, if you could send a link, that would be awesome. But, uh, yeah, I haven't seen one just for, like, getting around these poles, stuff like that. It would be, it would come in handy very much. Uh, I, yeah, I guess I haven't, maybe I just haven't looked hard enough, but uh, I have not seen a weed eater mod um, on any of the websites or anything. That's That's kind of strange. You would think along with the mowers, but obviously it's going to be quite a bit harder to uh, to work because you aren't actually like riding it. So maybe Farming Similar has a little trouble with that. Not really sure though. Um, you'd think you'd be able to do it. And then it goes a little bit past the tree. I believe they said in between these two trees is where they cut it off. Um, so there we go. And then you see that white birch over there in between the houses. We are going to stay on the inside of that. So there we go. And that will be our outline. I always like to use the stand on when we're doing like touchy stuff or anything that in involves like precision and like small cuts. We don't really need to do too big of cuts right now. We will get the John Deere out on this one uh, just because, you know, I thought I could. It it's about an acre and a half. So um, we aren't going to mess around here, boys. I thought I'd break her out. And I think the owner really likes John Deere. And they will I don't know. It's weird. We we're good buddies. So, uh but I still want to do a very good job for this guy. There we go. And then I think we'll do like two laps, another lap around the poles, and then another lap on the outside before we pull the old John Deere out. We will use the deck, obviously not the bush hog. This is uh, this is not a bush hog job. But yeah, if I could get a weed eater to get that stuff around the poles, that that's gonna make it look really bad. But uh, we're learning. That's all right. We're gonna we're gonna do some learning process. Yeah, I think a weed eater would be super good for uh, for that. So we'll go get the John Deere out here shortly. So there we are. We got around, um, got around it twice. We'll set this off underneath the shelter to the side for just a little while. Let's fire up the big old beast, the John Deere 2032R. Um, and let's get that deck going. I believe it's just B, like always. And this thing is quick, guys. Don't get me wrong. This thing absolutely moves boys it, it it moves it goes what we're at 13 miles an hour so f oh my goodness and it is it's i gotta get my bearings with it this is a very different machine compared to uh the one that we were just using before it is quick turning is quite a bit different um and obviously it's a rider uh instead of a stand on so it's it's got some more power um and john deere baby we're gonna be running this uh, it's it's quite a bit wider of a deck as well but uh, it really gets moving. It's very jumpy. Like, 13 miles an hour isn't... I mean, it's pretty fast for uh, real life, obviously. But for the game, like, I don't know. Like, oh my goodness, she's ju she's quick. It is hard to control. Not going to lie, I'm, I'm kind of struggling right now to control on these tight spaces. I thought it would be just fine. We'll start doing big passes here. We'll start passing down here. And then turn it around. We'll do a three-point turn. There's no. This is not meant for obviously zero. Okay, how about three point instead of five point? She's got some acceleration. Like the top speed is only 13, but the acceleration is intense, boys. That's it's it's moving. She's moving. There we go. Let's get some first person. It's always super annoying to mow around trees in third person, but also. It's kind of hard to see exactly what you're mowing when you're in first person. So I, I try and, like, switch it. Yeah, because that tree, the leaves just absolutely block my and distort my view. There we go. But you can kind of get a feel for it, I guess. I mean, obviously, the deck is going to stick out there ways. You don't really need to worry about it. But uh, there we go. We are leaving a lot of grass behind. I, they, they didn't ask to bail it at all, so wasn't really going to worry about it. It looks, it actually, like, it kind of looks good with it. There we go. 
Let's get making another pass. There we are. A little bit to finish up here. And we'll be packing up, moving. Made a very good time on that house, not going to lie. Once we pulled the John Deere out, we, uh, we really started to knock it out very well. Very excited to see that, that we're doing all this work. One man wrecking crew, like I said, boys. Well, I guess we still have the front side here, but uh, we're making we're making good time. Not going to lie, pretty good time. There we go. Beautiful. Just kind of go in circles here. Let's get out of first person just because I'm turning so much. And it's kind of hard to do in first person, but uh, we got this tree right here too. Gosh dang it, boys. She's tight. Tight turning. There we go. And then finish up this here. Just kind of go in circles. Keep backing up. Going forward. Backing up. Oh, my goodness. And, yeah. Let's go. Uh, let's. There we go. We got it all done. Let's turn that baby off. And let's throw up in the trailer. So there we are. We got them all loaded up. Let me quickly attach to our trailer. We will head out, gate is closed, and there we go, our first account on the map, the mowing map here, guys. And then we're going to head over to Tractor Supply and go and mow their place. There we go, we'll take a right here, and then I'll see you guys at Tractor Supply, and let's get rolling. Okay, guys, we are just pulling into Tractor Supply, and uh, it, it's closed right now, so we can park, honestly, wherever. Um, yeah, and we're just going to try and make their place look super super nice i might as well park in the front so when people drive by they think they like you know they see our logo they see all that stuff and they see us mowing so which is always smart you know park out front let people get some exposure for you there we go let's get the little sand on and like i said this is gonna be our last count of the day there we go so not as much as i thought because it was the end of the map wow um that's surprising i guess i guess it's only like okay so the map, when you pull it up, it's kind of distorted. Um, it's like it doesn't go all the way out there for some reason. But anyway, there's that. We got one pass on there. Let's shut her off and get around this tree over here, around the sign. And then we will again pull out the John Deere and uh, quickly, quickly knock this baby out. Let's get around this sign. There we are. And get that little last. Oh, I missed it. There we go. And then, yeah, there we are. Get one more lap around. I might as well just finish up this island on the stand on. There's really no point in uh, coming with the John Deere and hitting this. Just because it's it would be just as efficient with our stand on. There we go. Beautiful, beautiful. Let's get around that baby. There we go on that side of there. And so, yeah, this will honestly like be our third lawn of the day. But, you know, the second one actually making some money, which is fine. We have to mow our own lawn. Everybody mows their own lawn unless they hire it out. So it's not too big a deal. Uh, just cost us some valuable time. Let's turn on our mower. Let's get moving. There we are. And this thing, like I said, uh, still not kind of used to it after it takes a while. It takes like a couple couple like 30 seconds or a minute to get my bearings on this bad boy but she does do some work boys it really saves me a lot of time I absolutely love it but uh, it is no zero turn that's for sure that's for sure holy cow we're getting bent oh my goodness there we go let's get that all around here beautiful yeah, we do go so much faster, though. Not going to lie. We go so much faster in the John Deere 2032 than the, the X-Mark stand-on. But that's why I got. I got my big boy, and then I got my little boy. There we go. Perfect. And, yeah, guys, th hopefully you guys enjoyed this video uh, so far. We will get wrapped up here once we get done with this spot. Uh... I really like the map. Like honestly, where you can mow anywhere, it's so much fun, and you can we can really come up with a lot of good ideas for this uh, for this map. So yeah, it's gonna be very interesting on how we take this series. Think about getting some subscribers to play. Uh, we'll we'll come here and rake um, some of that grass, and get it bagged up for you. There we go. Ooh, tight turn. Yeah, it's kind of hard to finish up. 
it's kind of hard to like do the last little bit with the John Deere. Not gonna lie, just because it's so. For some reason, all the grass is piling up right there. And I, and I really just don't know why. Not gonna lie, I don't know why. There we go. Shut her off. Ooh, I missed that spot. Never mind. I shouldn't have shut her off. Spencer TV, is this your first day on the job? Yes, sir, it is. There we go. Let's turn off the mower. Hop back in and let's load her up. Get the stand on lower, lower, uh, loaded up, and we are going to be on our way. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. Uh, make sure to leave a like, comment, and subscribe. If you like the mowing series, tell me what you guys think and all that jazz. Uh, excited to hear from you. I'll see you guys later and have a great day.